Understanding Masculinity and Femininity in English-Speaking Cultures Hello everyone! Today, we're diving into an essential aspect of intercultural communication, understanding the concepts of masculinity and femininity in English-speaking cultures. These concepts play a significant role in how societies and cultures view gender roles and values. Masculinity and femininity are not strictly about being male or female. Instead, they refer to a set of cultural, behavioral, and societal expectations associated with each gender. Masculinity is often associated with traits like strength, ambition, independence, assertiveness. On the other hand, femininity is frequently linked with empathy, nurturance, sensitivity, cooperation. Remember, these are generalizations and not every individual will fit these descriptors. It's vital to realize that English-speaking countries, such as the USA, UK, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand, have varied interpretations of these concepts. Historical events, indigenous influences, and societal norms shape these perspectives. For instance, while American culture has historically leaned towards clear-cut masculine and feminine roles, it has seen significant shifts in recent decades, with more emphasis on gender fluidity and breaking traditional norms. In contrast, New Zealand, with its Maori influence, has a unique perspective on gender roles, where certain cultural roles might blur the lines between conventional masculinity and femininity. Language often reflects these cultural values. In English, certain phrases and idioms shed light on these concepts. For instance, man up, often urging someone to be brave or tough, reflects masculine value. Motherly love, suggesting nurturing and unconditional care, reflects feminine value. However, it's essential to approach such phrases with cultural sensitivity, especially as societies evolve and language adapts. Understanding the cultural nuances of masculinity and femininity is crucial in intercultural communication. It helps in building rapport, recognizing and respecting the other's cultural values can establish trust. Avoiding misunderstandings, being aware can prevent misinterpretations based on one's cultural lens. Enhancing clarity, tailoring your communication based on understanding can convey your messages more clearly. We've journeyed through understanding masculinity and femininity in English-speaking cultures. We hope this video has shed light on the importance of these concepts in intercultural communication. As always, the key is to approach every interaction with openness and a willingness to learn. Thanks for joining us, and see you in the next video.